Good morning, guys. It is about 10 a.m. I know this kind of looks like a mess, but I just got back from the vet. I took Maggie. She just needed some, <laughs> she needed a like two shots. It was like a Lyme and some vaccine. So we got that. And then we went to Duncan, and I don't know if you guys remember, but I lived in Boston for a little bit, and so Duncan is just so nostalgic to me. I got this like iced coffee with some sweet cream cold foam on top, and I believe they put like a little bit of caramel syrup in it. Honestly, guys, it was pretty sweet, so I'm probably not going to be getting this when... Yeah, not that I go to Duncan very often, but I do really love Duncan, so got that. Okay, so, and then I got this. So, finally, it came in the mail. I it was, I was, like, on, was the website, um, I was on the actual, like, Stanley website, and I could, every, like, cream, a 40-ounce quencher like this was sold out, and so I was just, like, kind of waiting to see if it would come back in stock because people were, like, buying these things once they came back in stock and then trying to upsell them on, like, Poshmark and Mercari and Facebook. Like, it was in Amazon, too. Like, everyone was, like, this thing, if it hadn't come back in stock, it would probably be worth, like, $80, which is just so obnoxious. Got the cream one. So that's the color that I wanted originally. And I'm happy I waited because I was up like pretty late one night and I was like, I'm gonna check Dick's Sporting Goods because they sell them there too. And I went on their website literally probably at like close to two in the morning and they had it in stock. And so I bought it. It was just kind of wild. But yeah, I'm really excited to start drinking this. When I am like on a good drinking water schedule, I actually drink closer to like 62 ounces, 64 actually 64 ounces I'll show you this this is actually 64 ounces i believe i don't know if i can yeah this is 64 ounces and so i would typically drink one of these in a whole day i got the this was literally five dollars from target and i bought two of them in the summer but yeah this will be great but the only thing is, is that if you're trying to drink 64 ounces of water a day, you'll still end up having to fill this up at least once halfway uh, because this one is like 64 ounces. But for how big this thing is, you would think that it would carry 64 ounces of water, but it doesn't. And this one looks smaller for some reason, and this carries more water. But anyways, I'm excited to use that. These are credit card chips. Wait for processing and remove card. and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Emily Nicole and if you're not new here welcome back it is Thursday night and I really just needed to move my body I have been working so much lately and so just between my day job just everything taking care of animals I feel like I've been neglecting movement I need to cement new healthy habits for my health and fitness and so I just pushed myself today to sign up for a 5 p.m. Fit 30 class, which if you guys aren't familiar with Fit 30s or Fit 40s, it's essentially like my studios play on like F45, I guess I would say. But we do strength training and then a cardio blast, which is really nice and it's only 30 minutes. So it's just a really efficient way to get my workout in and I used to always do those. I used to always go to, the, they used to be fit 40s but now they're fit 30s. But yeah, I used to go to them all of the time. Whoops. In the morning, they had really good schedule. They had like 7 a.m. classes like three times a week and I'd go. But yeah, they just, they change the schedule every month. So honestly, I've been going to the same studio since I've lived in Grand Rapids pretty much. Just need to get back into a good routine. So hopefully you guys will keep me accountable. We can keep each other accountable. But just finished that. And then I actually have to pick up some dog food and cat stuff. I ordered the cat litter, which is kind of convenient because I really don't want to carry cat litter up 14 floors. Not that I'd actually like carry it up 14 floors because we do have an elevator, but it's just, if you live in an apartment and you're on like, like if you have like, if you live in a high rise, you get it. Like you literally 
really hate dragging up a heavy shit and like even when you go grocery shopping you're always like conscious you're like oh I don't want to grab like too many bags full of stuff like you're just very cautious about the amount of stuff I have to bring up because I don't like to make several trips down to the parking garage I'm going to Target to pick up I'm just doing a drive up because it's pretty raining out right now I'm um, like the cat food, dog food, that kind of stuff. And then after that, I think I'm gonna run to Whole Foods because I need to get some stuff for the next few days. I plan my budget out pretty well and I can actually share more tips about like how I budget things and I'm pretty good with the budget. So I don't know, I have this like thing where I give myself $100 every week to get groceries. Some people may think that's too much, some people may think that's not enough, but I would say that for one person, that gets me plenty of meals and snacks and everything I personally need. And I prefer to over budget my groceries. So I'll spend, like I said, $100 a week, um, on Saturday, I spent about like 53-ish dollars. I had another grocery stop for about 17-ish dollars. So I was kind of holding out just so I could stick under budget. I still have like 30 bucks-ish to spend this week, but I also know that I will be going, getting like more groceries for next week, like this weekend. And I love doing that, so I don't want to like spend too much because it's kind of my weekend tradition if that makes sense so i think i'm just gonna pick up like a few things for dinner tonight and probably tomorrow and then i'll be able to get groceries like more like a bigger grocery haul on like saturday or sunday but yeah that's what i'm about to do um don't really know what i'm craving for dinner honestly i was thinking about maybe getting some salmon and like some veggies that could be good or maybe making a salad I'm not really sure I kind of want something that will hold me over for tomorrow too and like salmon leftovers to me is just kind of eh it's eh honestly eating fish leftover I prefer eating my fish like when it's freshly cooked so yeah I'm not sure leave me in the comments down below tell me what you guys eat for dinners and like meal prep I feel like my meals are not like prepped prepped I would say that like I plan my meals so that I can have leftovers but usually I don't like eat the same thing all week so like I'm not one of those people when I say meal prep I'm saying like I will make a dinner and then I will eat it the next day and maybe a third day but like I don't like meal prep like chicken and rice on Sunday and eat it all throughout the week if that makes sense I know a lot of people, not a lot of people, I feel like some people used to do that. I've tried to do that. Personally, it's just not sustainable for me by like, I'm sorry, but by the third day you eat the same shit in a row. I don't know why I keep cussing, but by the third day you eat the food, the same meal, it's like not good anymore. So I just am all about trying to find things that are really sustainable and and sustainable in the way that I'll keep doing it so if I like have one day out of like the whole year where I'm like oh yeah I'm in a meal prep and I'm gonna make all this chicken and rice throughout the week one that's very time consuming during a Sunday like I don't know about you guys but I don't want to spend my Sunday like packaging chicken and rice and you're gonna get sick of it so I also think that it's just important to rather eat like better portions of foods that you actually really love even if it's like a pasta or if it has like red meat I don't eat red meat a ton but if I'm craving it and like I'll know I'll eat it then I will prep like a dinner that you know is like steak and potatoes and then I'll eat that for a couple days and then like the next day I might do like a pasta salad but it's like it's all about especially when you're trying to stick within a budget it's about finding food that you'll actually eat because i know i because i used to be this way i would go to the grocery store healthy me i found this like funny meme it was like when healthy me goes to the grocery store and buys all the healthy food but fat me gets home and is trying to find a snack like that was literally me for so long and now i'm just like i need something sustainable i need something that i'll actually eat because if I'm just always buying food from the store that I don't absolutely love or is like almost too, too healthy, you know what I mean? Like that spring mix that gets shoved in the back and you have like no real plan to make it like taste good. Like unless you're doing like a chicken salad or something, like if you just buy the spring mix, right? It's probably gonna go to waste. So to me, I found that like with my budget and actually sticking within 
like actually eating the food that I love and like making my food taste good at home has helped me significantly not spend money out getting something to eat and also just like helps me realistically like stay within my like health goals because even like for example even if say for example I like like I said I had steak and potatoes nothing wrong with that by the way but you know it's definitely more like maybe fatty than like having like a chickpea salad right but like the thing is is like okay if you're craving that like red meat or like if you're craving like that type of meal it would be much better to buy the steak yourself cook the potatoes and then eat that rather than getting like a burger and fries out because your food doesn't taste good I just got back home and I wanted to show you guys a little haul because like I said I stopped at Target to pick up the dog food stuff and then I also in the cat food and I also stopped at Whole Foods to get a few groceries for dinner tonight so I will just quickly show you guys I got Maggie a ton of these Rina Beneful chopped blends so it literally is just like I don't it says no ad no artificial preservative colors or flavors so it's made with like beef and just vegetables so i got like a ton of these maggie really loves the cat food i think i mentioned this before she loves to chase the cats but she loves to try to get their food too and so i was like i also noticed that she's been kind of having stomach issues lately so it's like i wonder if it's like her dry dog food so i ended up just getting some of these so i need to put those in the fridge but she's already having one right now and she's like eating all of it so that's a good sign and then for the cat's food i got this giant bag of Purina cat chow i get the natural kind not really sure if it makes a difference but they've never been picky with it and then i got the cat's wet food so that's kind of what i got from target i guess i could show you guys the wet food too it is the Purina Fancy Feast. Now I want to show you guys a Whole Foods haul. I also keep these bags. I need to make sure I stop throwing them away because I do keep those for scooping out the cat's litter. Um, so I'm gonna put these away. Okay, just set this over here. I'm using my tripod by the way. I got two, what do you call it? I got a tripod and I got the like, it's called um it's that little fuzzy thing that you put above your microphone so hopefully my goal was to have better sound quality but let me get the whole food stuff here we go so we have some lundberg organic salted caramel sweet and buttery like little rice cakes usually i wouldn't buy something like this at the store but I knew that I, I mean, it's already like 7.19 and I knew I wasn't gonna have like any food or any snacks for a while just because I have to like make my food and it's a crock pot meal. So probably won't be eating until a little bit later. So I wanted something to hold me over. So I got those. We got some baby spinach. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm making cauliflower, or not cauliflower. I'm making chicken gnocchi in my crock pot. So it's honestly been so cold and rainy here in Michigan. So I personally love to make like a nice warm like soup in the crock pot, especially when the weather is really dreary. So I guess this is cauliflower gnocchi. I've never had this kind before. Usually I just get the regular kind, but I saw this there and it's gluten free. So that's always a plus for us girlies who have stomach issues. And then I got this chicken, just two chicken breasts, two boneless. And then we got some chicken broth. Let's see, celery. Okay, my camera didn't die, but it just ran out of storage. So I'm gonna do this quickly. I got some cornstarch because the recipe calls for a little bit of that. And then we got two evaporated milks. And then the last thing I got was an onion. So that is all that I have for dinner tonight. I'm gonna cook this in the crock pot. Yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of that. If you guys are curious, this little 
vest, this little cream puffer. My friend Lauren and I got this at Old Navy. I think it's like the perfect cream color. They're, I know they were out of stock for a while, so I'm not sure if we still have it, but if they do have it, I will try to link it below. And my sweatshirt is like from H&M. It's just a basic zip up, and I'm still in my workout clothes from earlier. But I did wanna quickly show you guys two little home decor updates. So I finally put some pictures in my frames here. So I thought this was cute because it's like, you know, the dog's dish. So I thought I put the little fur babies here. So this is Maggie when she was a puppy. I know the lighting's kind of bad. There we go. This is her on, I believe this is the first time that she went to the hair salon. So she goes to this place called Cats vs. Dogs in Grand Rapids. It's the cutest little hair salon. They do both cats and dogs, obviously. But yeah, that was her first haircut and they put little bows in her hair. It was so cute. And then these are my kitty babies. I forget where this picture is taken at. It may have been my old unit, but yeah, I just have these little frames um, and I will link the frames below as well. They're from the Room Essentials brand from Target. So they were pretty affordable and I'll show you some more that I have too. And then I got this little, this is Maggie's dog thing. It was much cuter because it used to have this like black plastic thing that wrapped around or like not plastic, but it was like a, a stretchy material. So it looked really cute. That's the little pet situation when you first walk in. And then I will show you over here. Looks like Maggie got in the trash. So I ended up putting pictures in this as well. So again, these are the same pack. I believe there was like nine in a pack, but I'll link those below. But this is a picture of a palm tree. It's actually the palm tree that was right outside my grandparents' house. So all of these pictures kind of have a little meaning to them, which I love. But yeah, it was just very basic picture and I just made them all black and white, clearly. But yeah, that's right outside my gra my papa and grandma's old house in Florida. And then this is a picture in Grand Haven. My friend Margo and I took a hike there. And then this is a picture of my dad and I. I think it was his birthday when I was younger. We was a little baby. And then this is a picture of my mom, brother, and I. So it's really cute. This is a picture of near where I live. So this is in downtown Grand Rapids. So this is like walking distance from my apartment. And the, I don't know if this was the fall or winter or the fall or summer. I think it may have been fall, but it's just such beautiful trail right by the river. And then this is another picture from Grand Haven as well. So I feel like this little wall situation really just came together. And if you guys are curious, um, I can link all of this stuff to La my little baby. She loves to attack the tree. From a distance, the tree doesn't look bad, but you guys, I kid you not, this tree was, look, it looked so much better before I got it from Target. Pretty much everything in my apartment is from Target. I can do maybe a whole apartment tour one day, but yeah, the tree is from Target. It's just a basic olive tree. It looks fine from a distance, but like I said, the cats have really, have really um, chewed at it. But she's so cute. I can't get mad at her. And then, this TV console is the Studio McGee one, and you can find this at Target too. TV is Target, the frames are Target, this chair is Target, so a lot of my decor is just from Target, but I've just been really focused on keeping things very minimal, so as you can see, like, everything in this whole apartment is pretty functional, so like, I do keep a few things in here, but I should probably go through these as well. So like these are just a lot of books. I need to sift through this stuff. This is actually a Bible that my grandma gave me. So my grandma is Greek Orthodox. So on my mom's side, they are Greek. And yeah, this is a this Bible is like completely in Greek. Um, or there might be like the English version on the right hand side, and then there's the Greek. Um, so that's cool. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's actually some books I haven't even read. Like I've heard really good things about Colleen Hoover, CH, and I just haven't read this yet. I meant to read it over break, but I just never did. And then this is just my stuff for my Dyson. But yeah, definitely need to still organize that. Mitchell needs to help me fix this. But this one is not as bad because I have these little baskets. Again, these are from Target, but they're just my like weights for at-home workouts, my ankle weights, and then this is my little 
my little tacky drawer. But these are the things I was telling you guys about that I put on my microphone. So you'll have to let me know in the comments if it sounds any better. But it's really simple. You just literally take one of these things and you just put a little sticker on it. I know there's some like bigger... I don't even know what these things are called. I wish I knew. It doesn't say. I'll link them. Okay, and so I actually ended up breaking one of those mugs that I thrifted so I don't like an odd number of cups or anything in my pantry I know it's super weird but this is just some more stuff that I need to donate to Goodwill so I'm gonna go ahead and put that there and then I did get my Valentine's Day decor out I have this giant bin full of decor and you can see here, it's kind of dark in here, but I have this cute little headband. So sometimes when I bake, I will put this on. I think it's so cute. We got these out for baking. And then this little heart bowl. This is actually my great grandma's on my mom's side. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'll put in here yet. Probably like little candies or something. And then I got this little gnome. This is from last year. I thought he was so cute. So I got the gnome, and then there's also this like candy hearts jar. I could probably put some candies in there too. I have a lot of Valentine's Day decor just because it's one of my favorite holidays. I don't know why, but it's kind of funny that my great grandma was actually born on Valentine's Day, and I always told my parents, and I've even told Mitch, I was like, if I ever have a baby girl, I want her to be born on Valentine's Day. I think that'd be so cute. I'm just obsessed with like red hearts. That's like my thing. So I was like, how cute if you could have like a little newborn on Valentine's Day. And she's like, your little Valentine. I think that's really cute. And you could like put her in like a little red bow and like red heart pajamas. I just think that'd be so cute. I still need to cook my gnocchi. So I feel like I'm always showing you guys wine. Um, I do have a wine fridge, so I'm not really sure why I stuffed that in there, but I wanted, whoops, I wanted to show you guys this. I've already drank some of it. It's the Voga wine. I think that if you are of age, obviously, I don't know if who watches my videos, if you guys are younger, older, but this wine is a Pinot Grigio. Typically don't love like a white wine, but Mitchell's mom drinks this and i believe my friend lauren said that she cooks with it sometimes but literally such a good wine it even says on here it's like award-winning wine but yeah it's so good and i love the bottle of it it still actually does come with a cork so you still have to use like a electric screw wine opener or just like a regular one but yeah i'm gonna have a glass of this i just love unwinding at night with a glass of wine and cooking dinner. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do. Oh my God, Tula, baby, Papa, hi sissy. But yeah, drinking a glass of wine and cooking, having Alexa play some Italian dinner music, it's a vibe. Really recommend it. It's definitely good for your mental health, I promise. My therapist even confirmed it is good for your mental health. So that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. I should probably get started with this. Pour my little glass of wine. Let me get a cup really quick. If you guys want to know where these are from, they're from West Elm. They're called Home Harvests. I'm in the Junior League. I can talk about the Junior League, but it's basically a nonprofit for women. We do a lot of philanthropy, giving back in West Michigan, like a different theme that our uh, chapter sort of does. Um, there's a lot of social things too, but a lot of it does is just like philanthropy, giving back, fundraising. I've met some really great girlfriends in that group, but they do this thing every fall called the Home Harvest, and one of our sustainers will host a dinner for a group of girls, so like 10 girls, and everyone brings a dish to pass. And the one lady had these wine glasses as well, and I was like, she has good taste. She's actually an interior designer, Honestly, it was just one of the most memorable dinners just because I had never really gotten to be around like such like powerful girl boss women like that in that setting, I guess. We were like, we just had like a, like a nice dinner, we got to chat about life, just like work or jobs. It's just definitely inspiring to be around like like-minded women who, you know, also have great goals. And so yeah, if you're, if you're interested, if you're a gal and you want to be involved in your community, definitely check out the Junior League. But yeah, 
yeah needless to say she had the same cup as me my camera just stopped working again we cannot have our wine ladies without staying hydrated so i'm gonna fill this up oh you guys can see the mess i need to pick up my kitchen it's so bad right now it's so bad um, I got a Brita for Christmas. Not that this is like life changing. My friend Abby told me, I, I think it's called the Berkeley. There's this Berkeley water filter. Kind of looked into it. I was like, maybe I should invest in one. But honestly, like, they were like over $300. So I was like, maybe I just get a Brita. And so I got a Brita for Christmas. But it's like 40 bucks. Again, I will link everything I'm talking about below. But yeah, that's how I get my filtered water is with my Brita. I don't. Thank you. I'm sure there's like a lot of benefits to the Berkeley. I'll leave the Berkeley down below. If you're feeling wild and you want to get the Berkeley, definitely do it. I know my friend really enjoys it, but I just personally not going to spend that much on it. But I will, I will accept the Brita as a gift. So. to a lot of women who I work with is that they prioritize their job or their career or business above anything else, right? Lives will fall apart. But it's so interesting because when we actually prioritize self So now I'm going to go ahead and season the chicken. So it calls for some Italian seasoning and some basil. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the salt and then the chicken broth. 